And so I like to use bioenergetics to help facilitate someone's liver and kidneys and, and colon and skin uh, detoxing better. But the end result is really every parameter of you know organ functioning improves. So what other things, because yeah. you know, I know once people kind of get into this and they start seeing results, it becomes pretty motivating and yeah. life-changing. So what are some other things that you've been doing or but maybe the next stage or you know, advanced stages. Cause I know we got some pretty advanced listeners like, Oh, I want to try this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the next stage, so of course it's supplements, super basic minerals, super important. Um, but I also incorporate bioenergetics to detoxification. So, what, so, so what's our, what's bioenergetics yes. for our listeners? What the heck is that? Yeah, yeah. So bioenergetics is essentially the study of energy in the human body. So we right. have an energy field. So, yes. Um, uh, our body throws off an energy field and in this energy field, there are energy, energetic waves and information is transferred on those waves. It's one of the ways our body communicates. The heart mm. sends messages to the pancreas mm. or what have you right. and operating instructions. And it m- works the same way like a radio. So you have radio waves and there's information on these radio waves And when you tune a radio to a certain frequency, like 98.6, you hear this information that's transferred on the energy waves. Our body works the same way. And so a lot of people who are not well, that have trouble detoxing, that can't take any supplements because they're too sick to do that, makes them ill, or who are, have a lot of food sensitivities that can eat five foods or whatever. Um, what do you do with these people? You know, and yes. this is this is something that really bothered me as a practitioner. I've worked with thousands of people. Um, it, it bothered me, like, how am I going to help this person? They can't take supplements or they can't eat any food. Like, where do you start? You know, mm-hmm. and so th- these people. Uh, it, the foundation of your body's physical functioning, the, it begins in the energy field. So if you can work in the body's energy field and find blockages in the ener- energy field and clear those, then you have a better expression of physical functioning. And so I incorporate this into my protocols to facilitate detoxification But it has a lot of other benefits as well because it just gets the body working how it's supposed to be working. And so it gets, you know, people start doing the bioenergetic protocol that I use is called NES Health, N E S Health Bioenergetics. But I do, there's a number of things that I recommend. There's a, a harmony pendant that really helps to balance the body's energy field and get rid of distortions. Uh, problems in the energy field. And uh, there's other things that I use, biofield tuning, but the, the foundation of it is this Harmony Pendant and the Nest Health, uh, Nest Health Bioenergetic Program. And so, and it's just a very simple thing to do. It's a, we do this like scan, it's um, a biofeedback scan. People do it at the, their own home. It's very easy to do. And it tests 500 different data points. You get this wealth of information about what's what's going on in your body and all your food sensitivities and you see all your nutrient deficiencies and you see uh, emotional traumas you see what organs those issues are affecting you see uh, all your heavy metals you see the type of emf you're sensitive to it's incredibly interesting and and eerily accurate and so you know i have clients they don't tell me anything what's, what's wrong with them and uh, they see the scan and they say, oh, I had a, a surgery on my appendix and the appendix is coming up or I had what have you, just you know, for example. And so I like to use bioenergetics to help facilitate someone's liver and kidneys and, and colon and skin uh, detoxing better. But the end result is really every parameter of you know, organ functioning improves. Wow, that's really, really, really powerful information. And also, I love that you're leveraging this. And and people go, well, that sounds kind of wooish. But I mean, we live in a world of frequency, vibration, Wi-Fi signals, satellite signals, telephone signals, all these sort of things. And so it only makes sense 
that anytime you have an electrical current, you also create a magnetic field. This is proven in science and our nervous system runs on electrical current as do our cells, as do our mitochondria, which produces electromagnetic fields. And we can feel those fields, like someone might have an amazing presence or someone might be kind of dark or these type of things. And the fact that you're also addressing on those levels and for people who want to get a, a, a little, a deeper look at it, I see the DNA is actually as a Tesla coil and the various minerals on it are like signals on your dial 101, 102, here's country, here's rock, here's hip hop, here's yeah. you know, <laughs> classical music. If you're deficient in minerals, you can, you, you aren't able to get all those signals that make the body work. And then also if you add these chemicals, they sit on those gaps and, and cause blockages so that you do not get that solid signal. And that has an impact on our health, our vibe, our functionality, our emotionality, all these sort of things. So we're far more dynamic than these biological organisms. We, I mean, if you dive into the physics, I mean, we're all empty space and frequencies and vibes. So, uh, and we, of course, that's why we go to big events. That's why I like to, you know, the, the, the chemistry of love and all these things are all things that we can actually live and feel that create chemical responses as a, as a, as a function of the electromagnetic frequencies that are going on. That's an amazing explanation. You hit it right, <laughs> the, hit it right the nail on the head. Yeah. And it's, everything has a frequency in which it vibrates and that can be measured. It's, it's just very simple. So, and there's tons of research behind this. If you go on PubMed and type in bioenergetics, there's a tons of science, uh, tons of amazing studies going on. It's really the future of medicine. Conventional medicine hasn't caught up to this, but an MRI is a, it's, you're looking at, you're measuring frequencies, electromagnetic fields, you know, ECGs, EKGs, EKGs all these sort of things are measuring, measuring these. And of course, now we have technology, you know, like, you know, yeah, aura aura rings ring. where we can pick mm -hmm. up stuff and there's a, there's a vast array. Many of this research was developed in uh, or advanced in the Soviet Union and some of the Eastern Bloc countries, which were more open to it and didn't have to suffer the kind of uh, conventional medicine lockdown that was controlled by pharmaceutical lobbyists. And a lot of this stuff was blocked or banned or not allowed. But it, we're seeing a reemergence of this Largely in part, I think, is because we're exposed to frequencies and vibrations much more. Like 20 years ago, not everybody was walking around with a cell phone. And now everybody is, so, and they know what it's like to have a good signal and a bad signal. Well, I had a cell phone 20 years ago. Yeah, you, you, one of those ginormous ones that you had. To, I did. You got to carry with it, like, you know, on a backpack or whatever, right? Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> calling the airstrike, you know.